Welcome back, folks, and thanks for sticking with us this Sunday morning. Right now, we are joined with, by Pamela Morales, who is the Communications Officer for the Museum of South Texas History. And we are going to be talking about the great historical shootout. So thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you for inviting. Of course. So before we get into this awesome event coming up, let's talk a little bit about uh, the, the museum and kind of what you guys are doing out there. So the Museum of South Texas History is located in Edinburgh, downtown Edinburgh in the square. So we're uh, n about north of the courthouse mm -hmm. um, and of course a future courthouse as well. Um, and we basically are a museum that encompasses the whole Rio Grande Valley and northeastern Mexico and a little bit north of us, so probably you know close to San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And we um, have an overview and a timeline of the history of the region. Um, and we have a, a permanent exhibit and we have a temporary exhibit and we just finished renovating the 1910 jail. Awesome. It's not open yet. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're still trying to figure out the logistics as far as the new exhibit space in there. Um, so we're really excited about that because it has been the building that people really want to see. Yeah, um, of course. So uh, we're mm -hmm. just, you know, just a historical museum really highlighting our culture, our heritage, um, the history of families that have been here for, you know, generations. Mm -hmm. um, so we just really um, love highlighting that. Yeah, definitely. I think it's a great way for people who are visiting. Um, I know that we have a lot of people who, whenever I have people come into town and they're not familiar with the Rio Grande Valley, I like to take them because it's exciting for them to kind of learn. And then they're they're walking through and they're like, oh, I didn't know that. Or, hey, look, I learned something totally uh, new and I wasn't expecting. So it's a great uh, resource and just a, a gem kind of to go mm -hmm. and to learn a little bit about uh, your community. So you guys do have an exhibit right now, the Edinburgh Then and Now, which I think is so fascinating fascinating because it gives you kind of like a look in the past a little bit. Yes, so Edinburgh Then and Now, that's our temporary exhibit mm -hmm. for now. Um, it has a side-by-side -side comparison of historical sites in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. um, not all of them, obviously, but some. Um, one of them is of the Sacred Heart Catholic Church in okay. Edinburgh. Um, that building is still there, so wow. the side-by-side -side comparison, it's very similar mm -hmm. um, and we also have uh, one of the homes of the um, Delavinias. Mm -hmm. um, they were one of the first uh, pioneers of Edinburgh. Wow. Um, their home was on 107 um, and now it's an auto zone oh so you goodness. get to see that yeah. comparison yeah so it's a it was a really in, a neat project for us to work on mm -hmm. um, hopefully we'll have more um, you know photos to, to, to share but for now there's just some of the side-by-side -side comparison um, and we also have a panoramic view <coughs> of downtown Edinburgh so you also see how they were um, building some sort of sites in downtown and now that photo actually has a construction going on now oh my the, goodness wow court. yeah so it's a it's I think about a hundred years <coughs> of those photos that's in between of them yeah oh wow how awesome to kind of see the difference between the two so you guys are having this awesome event coming up this is the third annual of its kind the great historical shootout so tell us a little bit about that so the great historical shootout we actually had uh, something similar uh, years ago but okay. we decided to bring it back because mm -hmm. it really is a, a heritage mm -hmm. event um, you know people down here love to hunt of we have course. wildlife and we have ranch and so we figured um, it would just be a great way for people to spend a morning with each other, do some shooting, um, shooting clays, and also, um, you know, just camaraderie and also supporting the museum and its uh, preservation and educational programs. Awesome. So we are taking a, a couple glimpses uh, from last year, I believe, right? Um, and it looks pretty fun. You see people out there ready to go. You know, they have... Uh, friends, family maybe, and so you go out there with a team, correct? Like a team of yeah, four? Yeah, a team of four. So um, it, it will be a team of four. Right now we are accepting uh, registration for those teams. And it'll be at Mi Ranchito Sporting Clays okay. in Lynn, Texas. Awesome. And then I know following that when you have the Annie Oakleys. Uh, yes, we have those uh, individual competitions. Okay. So if you want to show off your skills, that <laughs> probably is the best one. Um, best competition that we have for individuals. Fantastic. Okay, so where can people uh, register or sign up? So you can definitely call the museum okay. um, at 956-336-911. Mm -hmm. um, 
obviously during office hours, but if you want to sign up after office hours, we do have a link on our website, um, mosthistory.org slash events. Mm -hmm. um, so when you call in at the museum, make sure you ask for the development team and they'll definitely um, sign you up and make sure you have your credit card handy so that mm -hmm. way we can take all of that information. Definitely. And then all of these funds go back to the museum yes. to help. And um, I just, like I mentioned, the preservation and educational yeah. programs, including the Edinburgh Then and Now, you know, obviously all yeah. of that costs money. Yeah, so of course. Um, all of those funds will go back to helping and making sure that we have activities and events and programs for um, the community. Definitely. And was the, I know you said you had some events similar to this in the years past and you decided to bring it back. So it's the third year. So was this kind of the reason why you guys decided to bring it back, that you wanted to do something that obviously, you know, really played in well with the Rio Grande Valley in Texas, you know, be going out in the ranch lands that we have, but to also give back, like you said, to the museum, to the preservation, you know, mm -hmm. and to kind of, you know, keep it, sustain it, I guess, a little bit. Yes, definitely. We do have a lot of other fundraisers, but mm -hmm. we just felt that this is probably a very special and unique event that I think a lot of people in the valley um, love to enjoy and like I mentioned um, down here that's part of our heritage yeah, so of course and that. so do you typically go out during the the event do you go out there to kind of monitor to kind of just be a spectator do you participate um, I do not participate I actually take photo and video for awesome. the museum so I'm the official photographer <laughs> um, and I did go the first year and it was mm -hmm. so much fun um, you know being out there and and you know, there was a lot of camaraderie, people were really excited about it, and, and you know, we also have prizes, so that also oh, is a, yeah, a great a incentive. incentive yeah. Yes, definitely. And, um, you know, and uh, Mi Ranchito, we've been with them for three, this is our third year with them, so Jay Vasquez has been such a great supporter of the museum, um, and, you know, he's been helping us, and he has been there from the very beginning. Um, and I know last year, that's when we also started up sponsorships. Okay. Um, so now we have station sponsors, so that's a, another great um, way for other community members to be involved if they, if they can't show up. Definitely. Um, so I, I like it out there. It's nice. Um, it's been great weather so far, yeah, so hopefully fingers, yeah. you know this year it won't be crazy. It's been like that the past three months. So we appreciate if people come in and enjoy them the event. Yeah, definitely. It sounds like the place to be. Again, that is on April 6th, and that information will pop up shortly up on your screen. Um, you can check in. It is at 8 a.m., and the tournament starts at 9 a.m., and again, it's at Mi Ranchito Sporting Place. Um, you can go in with a team, which would be awesome, and that's fantastic, and as you mentioned, there are some prizes, so a little incentive, and then there are some individual um, kind of games Com yeah, competition, competition there so that's great if you really want to show off that day and really want to show your skill then that's a place to really go out and do it and then you get to help out the Museum of South Texas History which is fantastic to kind of preserve um, our community and our history which what better way to do that so thank you so much for coming in today I greatly appreciate it and I hope the event is just as successful as in the years past yes great thank you thank you so much